All right. What up, everybody? It's Triple Six coming at you with my first comic book haul video. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while, but um, I just didn't want to get out there and put up content until I felt that I could bring something of value to the community. Um, I really wanted to do my part because there's, there's a lot of great content creators out, content creators out there, man. And uh, I just want to say for all those guys that are putting uh, videos up of what they're finding out there and, and um, you know, educating uh, educating us, thanks, man. You guys helped me out a lot. I mean, a lot. Um, I started collect I started collecting in the mid '80s, and uh, I walked away from the game in the mid '90s. I just got burnt out. You know, when that comic book bubble burst, you know, thanks to the crap with uh, Superman and all the variants and crazy uh, card sets and all that that you had to buy. I was done. Um, but then I came, I was up watching YouTube uh, probably about a year and a half ago, and uh, a recommended video came up about what was going on in the X Men. And it was the House and Powers of X that got me actually back into my comic book store. And I started reading those titles, and man, I was back in. And then more videos started popping up about uh, what was going on in the market, comic book speculation, and how movies and TV shows was driving all that. You know, you got to keep in mind, back when I was collecting, I just didn't think that um, uh, a lot of stuff that I was into had a lot of value. I was never into really collecting keys. Uh, and stuff like that. Um, I just bought what I read, man. I was just uh, a, a lover of comic books, man. I just love the stories. I was into it. Deep, deep. And um, I started seeing what was going on in the market. I was like, uh, hold up. Uh, yeah, I need to reevaluate everything that I thought I knew. And uh, CGC, when I started seeing how prices on books were changing because of uh, when you get them graded through CGC, I was like, wow. But anyway, uh, back to what I got up. This is Venom number seven. Now, keep in mind, like I told you, I was never into buying books because of keys. Um, I was always story first. And later on, I got into collecting books because of uh, certain artists. The first artist that uh, really opened my eyes was John Byrne back in the day. And then you had those guys coming out, Todd McFarlane, uh, Jim Lee. Even though I know he's disliked right now, man, Rob Leefield, he was a bad boy back in the day. Changed the game. Um, I hope one day they, the comic book community really realizes what he bought to the table. He was a bad boy, I'm telling you, man. He was hot. He was hot. Mark Silvestri, you know. Cats were tough, man. Um, and, you know, I bought a lot of stuff just because of their artwork. But anyway, back to Venom 7, when I saw this cover, like, dang, that's dope. I got to get that. And, you know, I saw Cats tell, talking about it. It's, uh, you know, first appearance and all that cameo. But for me, it was just the cover. As I started more listening, as I started listening to more people talking about this, I was like, you know what? Maybe I need to buy a few more of these. Now I never got into the secret rares, but you know, I caught a bunch of I caught a bunch of great deals. You know, like I said, when I first started collecting, um, I just wasn't finding stuff on my LCS, so I turned to YouTube. Probably, I mean, not YouTube. I turned to eBay. Probably like a lot of you who are first getting back in. Just thinking there's nothing out there, uh, you're not seeing nothing, and that's the way I was. You know? So I started buying stuff on eBay. I was I was picking them off left and right. But I'll tell you what, to all the the, the new collectors that are out there, the new key hunters, don't give up, man. Just um, stay on your research. Absorb as much content as you can, and I guarantee you, one day, one day, the game will open up for you, and you're gonna go, you're gonna go into your LCS, and you're gonna start digging them long boxes, and you're gonna look up a man, you're gonna be, and you're gonna, be, and you're gonna walk out with a stack of books, uh, a stack of quality books. You're gonna be like, man, where does this come from? I've been, I've been coming here, for, I've been coming here for months. I've been coming here for months, and nothing. And then one day it's going to be like, 
clouds are going to part and the sun's going to shine through and you're going to hear the angels' voices sing, ah, 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 ah. you know, <laughs> singing in the sky. You're like, damn, I got down. I got down. But uh, anyway, you know, like I said, I started out buying Venom, man. And uh, as I was watching more guys talk about Venom, all of a sudden I started hearing little things about this cat called Null. Like, no, I turned into Robin Harris, uh, Robin Harris, you know, when he said, where the hell is baby? I was like, who the hell is no? Who is no? So I was like, I, I started watching stuff on guys talking about no. And at first I wasn't too keen on it, but I'm sure you can already figure out where this is going. Slowly but surely, I started picking up books. I'm not going to show all, but I started picking them up. Started picking up them titles. Them we're talking about and uh, you know, the more I kept picking them up I was like man, you know, I, I, I need to get them and I started getting them yes sir uh, it started getting hot and heavy let me tell you hot and heavy and um, the day I decided to start buying the, the First appearances of Null. I got in right before he crossed that hundred dollar range. I started picking him up. I'm not showing everything, like I said, or just for time, because I, I still got my haul. I started picking this stuff up, man. Started grabbing him. Oh. And then, you know, I was like, it's time to get them. I started making that move. I got these a little later in the game, but I did get them. Venom number three, first appearance of Null. And of course, I got them. Venom number three. Third print, yeah, started buying these bad boys. And I told myself, like I said earlier, if I start buying something, and I'm, I'm, I'm right on the spec and these start taking off, then I'll start making videos and uh, a couple more. Couple more. I was ready that I was ready to start putting out video. They started going up in prices, started going insane. Check it out. Silver Surfer Black or the P Mocha. Uh I bought this. Before uh, I even bought the first prints, Invincible Iron Man number seven, cameo of Riri Williams. And, you know, there's talk that uh, these prints are actually going up in value. And they think, they, 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 they think that they may be uh, more sought after because this is the first appearance of her on the cover. And, of course, you know, like I said, I've got the first print. And her first, first full appearance. And then, like I said, one right here, man, we know what's going on with Miles Morales. So, you know, like I said, I, I think I'm there. I think I'm there, and I think I'm ready to start putting out trying to help out the next collector. Another one. I hope you guys got these. Great book, man. Venom number 25. Virus and Codex. Ugly. Title. They're doing gangbusters. All right. And then let me grab the first comic book haul. Right back.
All right. Sorry about that. I just need to get the books. This was a haul from a couple of weeks ago. All new Wolverine number one. Uh, Nyx in her first title. Batman 609. I believe this is the first uh, Red Hood. This is the first in that storyline. I just picked this up because Spider Gwen is hot and I like the variant cover. We've got a Batman number one Jim Lee uh, black and white sketch. Spider-Gwen, number 17. I picked that up just for the cover, man. Um, Jusco, Jusco was all right with me, man, back when he was doing that Marvel Masterpiece series on the cards. I said, yeah, let me get that. Up next, we've got Red Hood, number 15, that death in the family. Um, these were the ones that uh, I spent a little bit on. Um, before I started dollar bin diving. Anything else that you're about to see all came from the dollar bin. The, sp the Spectacular Spider-Man, number 176. <laughs> uh, if you guys will remember when we well, were still in it with all this COVID-19 stuff, but back when, when everybody was locked down, this book blew up. It went crazy. There was no way I was spending that money. Um, I said, you know what? This is going to be a dollar band book. And sure enough, dollar band. Uh, profit number six. I bought this just because of uh, Stephen Platt, I believe. Stephen Platt, our back uh, a few months back, uh, profit for, for first appearance was blowing up a little bit. And that may had that had that had me looking at what was going on with profit. I said I started looking at some of the other books and. I realized that uh, I didn't have a lot of these. When, I'm see when I see them, I'm going to grab them. Uh, profit number seven. Another Stephen Platt. Secret Wars number nine. Um, I think there's some spec on this. Uh, something to do with Miles Morales uh, coming into the MC. I'm picking them up when I see them. This right here, Mosaic number one. Right now, there's no spec on this. This was one of the first books that I started grabbing in the long boxes just with no information at all. I just started grabbing it first strictly on the cover. Then I read it, and I was like, you know what? This book has the potential to do something if Marvel ever decides to bring it into the movies. So whenever I see it, I'm buying it. Maybe later on I'll show you some of the other uh, mosaic number ones that I'm picking up. Uh, also, um, I'm also picking up his first appearances. Uh, I believe that's in the Inhumans number 11. No, the Uncanny Inhumans number 11. So something to keep an eye out for. I'm not saying that it's going to do anything, but I'm just telling you what I'm buying. Uh, here's another one just strictly on the cover by... Uh, Uncanny X Men number five eleven. Uh, that's a that's a name. Greg Land cover. Beautiful. Uh, you know when this Civil War stuff was going on, the spec on uh, the Immortal She Hulk. This is Civil War number five. I couldn't find that in number four, but I did get number five. This is when uh, I believe Thanos killed her. Contest of Champions. This is the. Final issue. I'm I'm trying to buy, you know, any anything dealing with final issues. Yeah. Uh up next, Aquaman, Convergence number two. I believe this yeah, this is the first appearance of um Ah, uh, what's I'm drawing a blank. Um uh, yeah, I can't think of it right now. Maybe if it comes back to me while I'm going through this, I'll bring it back up. But there's a first appearance of 
Uh, what's the guy with the onk wears around his neck? He's got like the golden mask. I don't know. Anyway. Superman Batman number 23. I didn't get number 23, number 22, but this has to deal with, you know, that whole deal with the Batman Beyond and continuity. You know, um, <laughs> I'm gonna play the game, man. You know, if if this is what's going on right now, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it if I find it. Get it. Uh, I bought this strictly for the cover, uh, Batman six seventy six. I'm sure there's something to it, uh, but I just don't know what it is. Um, another one I got for the for the cover by Justice League for forty two. I got this because uh, I watched that, I think it was the Netflix show, um, The Old Guard. I didn't know anything about it, but I enjoyed the show, so I said, you know what? I'm going to pick these up when I find them. Uh, this, for me, was a cover by. Just a beautiful copy, Green Lantern Corpse number 56. Awesome, awesome cover. Uh, Tyler Kirkham. You know, we know who he is, where he has his fame. Glad to get it. Um, these right here I'm buying uh, just because I read uh, the Alan Moore uh, I can't I can't think of it but I had read uh, an, Alan, an Alan Moore series that was just weird but from that I said let me let me let me do a little bit more research Started buying these uh, Providence. I uh, picked up number two, number five, number seven, eight, number ten, number eleven, twelve. Like I said, this is a continuation of another story that I read. I can see the covers, but hey, I can't think of what it is. Anyway, whenever I see these, I'm picking them up. That's Alan Moore and Dasheen Burroughs, Providence. All right. Uh, continuing on. Uh, I saw one of the guys um, on a YouTube talking about this. I think he just mentioned it in reference as far as joking. Miles Morales uh, comes into the, um, 616 continuity. Anyway, I saw it. I said, you know what? I'm going to grab it. Uh, another book that I know guys are specking on, and I kind of like it, uh, Sideways. There's this first appearance of Sideways, Sideways number one, and then there's sideways number two. It's about this cat right here that uh, he 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 has something. I, I can't think of what it is, but sideways number two. Um, yeah, I know there's a bunch of the. Uh, there's something coming up with my man, right? He's going to be showing up in Batman. So, you know, that's that's getting uh guys interested in Wildcats number one again. I bought this strictly for cover price. Strictly for cover. Um Justice League Dark number three. Love that cover, man. Like looks it's a nice looking cover. I like it. Um keep in mind, like I said, these are still all dollar books. Another cover buy. Uncanny X-Men number 428. Love that cover. I had saw that on uh, eBay and I kept looking at it and kept looking at it. I said, you know what? I'm, I'm not going to buy it. I'm going to find this in the wild. I am going to find this. And I did. Uh, Uncanny X-Men number 4. Another cover buy for me. That cover is beautiful. Uh, magic on the cover. We we already know. Uh, everybody's waiting on um that uh what is it, New Mutants movie to come out. Thanks to COVID, everything keeps getting pushed back. But eventually, it's gonna show up. 
Um, up next, yeah, kind of caught up in this and in, in the end is in the Star Wars hype too. So, anytime I can find some Star Wars titles and I can get them at a decent price, I'm gonna pick them up. Star Wars number two, Lost Tribe of the Sith, Spyro. Uh, Star Wars Lost Tribe of the Sith number four. Obi-Wan and Anakin, number one. Um, now, this is one thing that I do know about. I have been investing in this heavily. Um, these books here are actually completing my run, but we've got Star Wars Canon, The Last Padawan, number three. Number four. Yep, number three and four. I thought I had more. Not, not in this. Um, but anyway, if you're not buying Star Wars canon, The Last Padawan, you're going to be now because I'm sure if you've been seeing what's going on in the market, that uh, what's going on with Ahsoka Tano, man, her first appearance in the Clone Wars, that um, uh, cover A, and I think that is that, is that a cover B or a ratio? Those books are going insane, man. Unreal. And uh, Star Wars and in the last Padawan, number one, I'm predicting that that book might one day hit those highs because you've got the first appearance of Edger uh, Edger Bridger. Uh, uh, what's her name? She's she's a Sokotano's buddy. He's also a Mandalorian. Her first appearance in there is in there also. Some people have tried to say that. Actually, her first full appearance is in that Kana number six, but I don't know, man. I've been buying number one because I think that's considered her, that's going to be her first true appearance. Oh, what is it? Sabine Wren? Sabine. Uh, Poe Dameron number two. First appearance of a, uh, is it Phantasma? Yeah. Um, Ben Riley's Scarlet, Scarlet Spider, number nine. Uh, I'm buying these based on some spec that I heard uh, uh, my boy Gary from the Despective talking about um, having to do, I think, something with um, foreshadowing of Venom and, you know, all this stuff that's coming down, coming down later on in the future. Same thing with this, man. Uh, Secret Avengers, number two. I'm buying these when I see them. This right here, uh, first appearance uh, or first meeting between Blade and Wolverine. I don't know, but when I see them, I'm picking them up. Picking them up. Um, I just like the cover on this. Batman Beyond number 12. Batwoman. Right. Anytime I see these, I'm picking them up. Uh, Batman Beyond, number 22. Uh, the first appearance of the new Scarecrow. Uh, first cameo. First full appearance. And when I got this, I didn't think I would ever find this. But I did. I was happy. Batman Beyond Unlimited, number 13. Nice. Nice. I saw a bunch of guys. Having this on their video back in the day, and I just never found it. Like I said, man, just stick with it. Stick with it. Keep digging in them long boxes. Keep doing your research, and just one day things are just gonna start coming to you. Here's a book that I got for just for the cover, man. Awesome cover. Batman, brightest day, number fourteen. Beautiful cover. I picked this up. Cover by Juke Joint, number one. Beautiful cover, man. Had to get it. Another cover by Domino, number one. Is that a Greg Land? Yes, it is. Had to get it. For a dollar, man, you can't beat it. Another cover by for me. Blackbird, number one. Tell me that's not a beautiful cover, man. That is awesome. Um, another cover buy for me. Astonishing X-Men Ghost Boxes. What is this? For two? And look at that cover. Tell me that cover ain't awesome. That's some Clayton Crane good stuff right there. Clayton Crane? Had to get it. 
I mean, I don't think there's anything. Of, I don't think there's a lot of value on this, but um, that cover man is awesome. Had to get it. another cover buy. I don't think there's a lot of value on this, but this cover is cold blooded, man. Hex slash number eight. And look at look at that. Look, look at that. At look at that. Look at that. Some more cover buys, man. Some dollar goodness. How these are in the dollar bin is beyond me. Is this Alex Ross? Alex Ross, man? Just in the dollar bin? Look, look at this. Justice Society of America, number three. That cover is cold, man. Cold-blooded. Justice Society, number six. Number seven. Look at that, man. Look at that art. Beautiful. Number eight. Dollar. Dollar bin. Number 75. 77. 79. 80. This is, uh, this has some value. Number nine, Power Girl. Power Girl makes money. So, number two, and Justice Society of America, number 25. Bam! Look at that. Nice. And that's a beautiful cover, man. So, if you find these, man, Alex Ross, uh, I ain't gonna tell you what to do, man, but I'm grabbing them. Grabbing them, too. All right, now we're coming to the end of this haul. And um, this is why I'm telling you guys, man, if you're new to this, stick with it, man. Because when you start finding books that you just never thought you would find because you just like, uh, I'm late to the game, don't give up. Don't give up. Stick with it because you'll be surprised. You're going to have that wow moment. I can't believe I found this. Okay. Batwing, number 20, a dollar. Just found this two weeks ago in the dollar bin. Crazy. I just thought I, there's no way I would ever find this, let alone in the dollar bin. Wow. Okay, now here we are coming up on the best part of the haul right here. I just was stunned. I found the five Ronin Hawk number two five Ronin Hawk number two um what's the name of the uh artist on this um artist name what's Once again, it'll come to me, but hey, that's a tough find right there. Tough find. Um, five Ronin Punisher number three. Found that. That's the that's the cover A, I believe. And last two books. I never thought I would find these dollar bin. I never I never thought I would find these. Period. Five Ronin Cyclops. 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 Number five. Four. Number four. Um, that the second. The second cover. Cover B. Here it is. I never thought I would see in a dollar bin. I never thought I would see this in a in a long box, let alone the dollar bin. Five Ronin Cyclops. Number four. First one. Cover A. There it is. Wow. All right. You guys stuck with me through this. Uh, thanks for hanging out. Uh, this is going to be the first of many. I'm sorry that this ran so long, but... I promise in the future they'll go a lot faster, but I just want to give a little bit I wanted to give a little brief history at the beginning. 
about what got me in. Uh, what made me feel like I needed to get out here and put up a video. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, you guys. Take it easy. See you next time. Triple Six, I'm out.